Welcome to Alabama. Well, a little dirty. Like Google Maps said, welcome to Alabama. It was kind of a spur of the moment idea to hit this little trip. Um, couldn't make my mind up between here and uh, going up to meet my buddy Stuart in Georgia. But I'm actually going on a recon mission to pick up a new John boat for me and the boys to do a little fishing and camping trips on. And uh, the water feathers are great, but it can't fit all them kids in the gear so uh going down here to pick up this boat do a little hunting the next two mornings and i am fueling up before i get off the beaten path i'm fixing to pull over at a local friends or a local guy who i've met through social media uh, he's gonna let me kind of crash in his yard or sleep in the truck for a couple hours and in the morning i will be doing a little bit of water access should be a good hunt in the morning i'm hoping great weather nice and clear no wind uh the next two mornings and from what i hear birds are talking so let's just hope that that stays true that is depressing all right guys i just got to uh golly it's bright my buddy's place here not too far from where i'm going and one of the questions i get a lot is how do you afford the rooms when you travel and this is the room if you're looking at it um i've got my sleeping pad right here that i've blown up i'll blow it up put it underneath of my seat slide into my sleeping bag and right before i go to bed i always plug my phone in to an external pack because my phone does not charge on uh on my truck when it's off but anyways i'm gonna turn all this stuff off we'll see y'all in the morning Just gobbled on the other side. Bird that's across this hillside from me, he's not.
problems every time. I'm literally following these birds like I'm tracking a deer. All oh, they're scratching is angled that way. And there's dirt on top of the leaves to be as fresh as he is. I wish this bottom was a little bit wider. logged about a mile and a half so far and uh, about half that mile has been straight uphill it's been rough to say the least but I'm working my way back towards my boat methodically because there was another bird that was over here this morning now I don't know why these hit the ground and took off running like they do did but acting like Rio's pet turkey over here somewhere. You better shut up or something bad happens to him. <clears throat> but I'm going to ease out this finger right here. And see if I can uh, sit down, grab a bite to eat, something to drink. I've sat here about 30 minutes. I ate an orange, granola bar, and a bag of trail mix. I feel human again now, so. I hit my slate call a minute ago. I didn't get too crazy on it. Nothing answered. Nothing's answered now, call. But I'm fixing to rip on this mouth call and either choke it out of them or carry on. My plan is to move off down in this bottom and then kind of just work around back down towards the boat. And I'm thinking I may troll on around the other side where I left them birds earlier. I just couldn't catch up to them on foot. But I've got plenty of battery on that battery life and uh, the trolling motor. And I wouldn't say I've got nothing but time, but I don't have a lot of that either.
you guys can see I'm back at the boat, obviously. Sat at that location for about an hour and didn't hear much. It could be because I was asleep, but but um, normally I, I pick up on stuff like that. But kind of broadcasted my way out, no luck. And um, I just got over here, almost back to the boat. And somebody has tried this already this year. I seen a footprint. It was not mine, I don't think. Pretty sure I, I pretty much went straight this freaking mountain this morning. But I'm gonna paddle my way out to the channel. And I think I'm gonna work my way around towards where the birds were this morning, where they ended up all the way over there. And see if I can't look at the topo map and figure out what the hell they were heading towards. Well, it has been a freaking wild ass day to say the least. I am actually walking into a spot where I normally camp. Right here. I'm gonna walk back this ridge where my buddy Dylan Dixon was this morning, worked a couple birds. He actually I don't know what it is with hunting with people that actually find turkeys that gobble all day. Um, but I don't find those. Colby finds them, Dylan finds them, not me. Um, but I'm gonna walk back this ridge, try to roost one of these birds. After chasing my birds around all morning, um, they stopped gobbling at about 7.30. Ended up driving to Georgia, which I'm not very far from, picking up a boat for my good buddy, Jeremy Wood. So thank you, Jeremy, for my new 12-foot John boat. Followed by going over to my buddy Kevin's house and uh, hanging out with him for a little while, meeting his kiddo, meeting his cool dog and his wife. And um, actually end up hearing a god, a god awful wreck. And uh, we ran down there, god it was terrible. There was car seats in the back, I was so scared I was gonna see some poor little kid hurt or dead. And uh, luckily the guy was alive, he nailed a trailer um, running over on the other side of the road. I don't know if he was on something or or what but it was just crazy was just thankful he's alive but I actually ended up getting on a bird on his private and um, the bird would not come off the hunt club so <laughs> unfortunately the neighboring hunt club unfortunately it's looking like a big fat goose egg for Alabama Unless something crazy happens in the morning, we'll see what happens. I trust Dylan 100%. So hopefully this turkey's gobble tonight. There we go. Got the truck reorganized and got pack reorganized. Breakfast is laying out over there in the morning. Coffee. Stopped and got some Gatorade from the old Taco Bell. Got the sleeping quarters ready. Seat lays back. Take my headrest off. Stupid hard hat. Can't wait to go back to that on Tuesday. Uh, but I'm real excited about this boat right here, man. Jeremy Wood, when you're watching this, thank you so much. Um, this was the goal of the trip, essentially, was to come out here and get this. Um, but I had a good hunt in the water feather this morning. Um, where I went, you can't use those right there. So I uh, took the troll motor in. It was a great hunt. <clears throat> Lots of birds. Just could never get in front of them. But I've got that thing tied down so that I can just pull this with me in the morning. I don't have to backtrack, come back and get the boat. So, pretty excited to trick out this rig. Maybe possibly put a dead deer on the front of it. That'll be nice. And uh, I'm ready to jump in the sleeping bag and get some rest. I've roosted two birds, thanks to Dylan Dixon, uh, pointing me in the right direction this morning when he left and went back to Tennessee. I wish this dog would shut up. Um, but anyways, I went in there this afternoon, right at dark. I uh, had two birds gobble. Jacob Myers from the Southern Outdoorsman is actually going to meet me over there at the gate in the morning. And we're going to see if we can make a miracle happen on Eclipse Day. So, whew. Anyways, I'm ready to get some sleep. I'm running on about three hours of sleep. And it's not good for me. You can see it in my eyes. You ain't kidding. It gets really bad up here. Yeah. That's like where I, I show you where I turn around. 
because I, I blew right by that spot. Was... Return call comes with every combo. Alright guys, last morning in Alabama, it's hard to say last morning and be serious when you only come down here for a day and a half. Yeah. I ain't even hardly been in Alabama for 24 hours, but I roosted two birds last night off this ridge thanks to Dylan and uh, me and the ginger turkey slayer, turkey slayer not bow hunter, no bow hunting right now. We're going to go back here and... Uh, Either scare them or kill them. There is no in between. There's no such thing as letting them get away without no. scaring them. That's what Andrew Andrew's always like. He's like, we're either gonna kill this turkey or we're gonna bust this turkey. It's one of the two. <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't gonna leave out of here without us seeing it. That's right. We heard, we heard maybe one or two birds, possibly one that way, and I thought I heard one of the birds up there maybe one time, but that's about it. And a gray fox come in and <clears throat> tried to hump Jacob's leg, <laughs> and I think we're just going to ease down towards his private line and either wait him out a little bit more or try to strike one up, I don't know. But you know this, the walkout's going to be a lot easier than the walk in. If I had to walk back up that thing... See, that's, that's really doesn't seem like a lot, but for... It's, it's rocky. It's, it's, imagine walking through there with no light. You would have broke your ankle. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I was sitting there wondering. It's like, surely the birds weren't closer to that drainage. We just spooked them all this morning. But, yeah. I definitely wasn't walking down that thing with no light after you said something about a rattlesnake. I turned on my red light for a minute. I was like, no, nah, F that. All right, guys, back to the truck now. Things got pretty interesting for a minute, to say the least. But we couldn't call them birds off the of private. I got to get home, come down here, retrieve the boat, and did that. Got to hunt with my buddy, Mr. Myers. It was fun. I thought we were going to kill him there for a minute. Yep. But It'd be like that sometimes be like that all the time in the south 
Yeah. Uh, Kentucky comes in on Saturday and I'm looking forward to some easier birds. Yeah. Turkeys that gobble and come to calls and so we lost by the way 568 feet. Yeah, it was three miles too. That was three miles? Golly. Hell yeah. Alright. That was fun. Let's go home.